If they want to take credit for this law, they can. I'm happy to share it. And second is because health reform is really hard, and the people here who are in the trenches know that. Good people from both parties have tried and failed to get it done for 100 years because every public policy has some trade-offs, especially when it affects one-sixth of the American economy and applies to the very personal needs of every individual American. And we've made our share of mistakes since we passed this law. But we also know beyond a shred of a doubt that the policy has worked. Coverage is up. Cost growth is at a historic low. Deficits have been slashed. Lives have been saved. So if anybody wants to join us in the spirit of the people who put aside differences to come here today and help make the law work even better, come on board. On the other hand, for folks who are basing their entire political agenda on repealing the law, you've got to explain how kicking millions of families off their insurance is somehow going to make us more free. Or why forcing millions of families to pay thousands of dollars more will somehow make us more secure. Or why we should go back to the days when women paid more for coverage than men. Or a pre-existing condition locked so many of us out of insurance. And if that's your argument, then you should meet somebody like Ann Ha, who's here. Ann's 28 years old. Where's Ann? There you are. <laughs>